You know a name can be a powerful thing, sometimes even more powerful than the facts. For over a hundred years, the public has been in love with the wrong dinosaur. All thanks to some old school confusion and frankly, brilliant marketing. It's the story of Brontosaurus versus Apatosaurus. It all started back in the late 1800s during the Bone Wars. This crazy intense rivalry between paleo. In the middle of this fossil frenzy, two partial skeletons were dug up. The first was named Apatosaurus in 1877. The second, found two years later, got the much cooler name, Brontosaurus, meaning thunder lizard. Now, here's where it gets messy. Museums started putting together these giant skeletons, but they were missing some pieces. So they kind of improvised. They took a Patasaurus bones and slapped a skull from a completely different dinosaur, a Camarasaurus. This new Frankensauropod was labeled Brontosaurus, and the public went wild for it. It became the superstar of the dinosaur world, a household name. Even though the creature people were staring at in museums wasn't quite real. For decades, scientists said, Hey! Wait a minute, that Brontosaurus is actually just a more mature Apatosaurus. So officially the name Brontosaurus was retired, just a footnote in history. Apatosaurus was the real deal, a heavy, deep-bodied giant with a long, slender skull, not the boxy one they'd used in the displays. But hold on, the story isn't over. Fast forward to the 21st century. With better technology and more fossils, scientists took another look. They ran new, super detail analysis, comparing all the bones, and what did they find? There were actually enough key differences, especially in the neck and back vertebrae, to say they were two distinct, though very closely related animals. So, in 2015, the thunder lizard made its official comeback. Brontosaurus was resurrected, not as a mistake, but as its own unique genus, a close cousin to Apatosaurus, a perfect example of how science is always evolving. We find new evidence, we correct our mistakes, and the story gets a little clearer and a whole lot more interesting. So the next time you see one of these long-necked giants, you can appreciate both. Apatosaurus, the origina, and Brontosaurus, the thunder lizard that fought its way back into existence. It's a reminder that even in science, sometimes the legends turn out to be true after all. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey back in time, hit that like button and subscribe for more myth-busting adventures. Let me know in the comments what other myths you want to see tackled.